Thank you, Solomon. All right. Um, Sokoto State Governor recently hosted local government officials in the state and they bet their minds on the need for the third tier of government to have their own financial and administrative independence. As part of strategies to fight poverty, unemployment and all the hills exhibited by the nation's dwindling economy, the Sokoto State Government has geared up effort toward empowering leaders at the grassroots in order to boost economic activities in the rural areas. The government says it aims to improve the capacity of leaders in the third tier of government to utilize resources as well as the agricultural potential in their various local government areas. Councillors and other top local government bureaucrats from the 244 wards across the state who are tutored on how best to deliver effective leadership what strategies to adopt for effective wealth creation and which agricultural product in their domain have comparative advantage. It is quite visible that over-reliance of the federal allocation will only flung us to, in trouble and as such leaders must to come out with strategies that will enable us build a viable social economic system that will propel sustainable development. In fact, His Excellency is, mo is so much concerned with the growth of the democratic culture that he consistently insists that the fire of local government council should not in any way be eroded. The aim of this workshop is to educate the senior official of the local government in the way to provide the services to, to our people and dividend of democracy to our people to rule the third tier of the government. Governor Aminu Tambo says the present economic challenges has made it necessary for leaders to think outside the boss and to create other sources of revenue generation. We as leaders that have been saddled with the responsibility of providing leadership are grappling with challenges of how best we can redirect the affairs of states and um, governments towards uh, alternative sources of funding, not only for the government, but also for our teaming populace, especially our youth and women. Sokoto State Government has redoubled effort at transforming agriculture in the state by giving the needed incentive to farmers, majority of whom are rural dwellers. Suleiman Nasser, TVC News, Sokoto. Well, joining us now is a former local government chairman, Amu Odofi. Ayo Dele Adewale, uh, good morning to you. Thanks for joining good us morning. on TVC Breakfast. Thank you for you. Uh, now, at best, there have been a, a number of local government reforms in Nigeria, but they have failed to answer to the question of autonomy uh, for the local government. Uh, President Buhari himself has said, "Look, there is a need to look at the constitution again so that it can clearly state what the relationship should be between uh, the three tiers of government." Where do you stand on the issue of autonomy for local governments? Well, uh, uh, I hope you're not going to put a nose in my neck <laughs> to hang me, but uh, I have a different notion towards it okay. because um, as a key player in grassroots government, mm -hmm. I believe that we're not really looking at the, the right thing and the, the autonomy issue have been misconcepted and uh, misconstrued. Uh, every local government in Nigeria has its own autonomy. I think On paper what or it, indeed? It, they have their own autonomy. I mean... You are elected into office, mm -hmm. you are promised of certain things that you're going to do, and those things are not done. I served as a local government chairman, yes. and I was autonomous to the extent that I was having foreign relations with different government, different boroughs, and all of that. Mm -hmm. Some of them were coming to my local government. I was dealing directly with the Consular General of the United, Na uh, United States and the Deputy High Commissioner of the, of the, of the British uh, I mean, um, Consulate here. You seem to have, perhaps you were in and sync, uh, uh, please yeah. let, me, let me interrupt you, perhaps you were in sync with the governor or the power or powers of the day that and there was no issue about you being sacked. In some states they didn't have that. Uh, the governor can just uh, hire, uh, fire the local governments at will. A local mm. government chairman and executive at will, it happened in Ikiti State, it happened in some other states as we speak. Does that really suggest autonomy? Uh, Busolami, we discussed this issue severally on this mm. platform. And I will keep telling you that those who you, quote and unquote, said sack, you should go and look at it properly well. The 
their configuration, their, I mean, their putting up, was it rightly done or was it harshly done because of the fact that a governor was leaving office and he wanted to leave some level of hierarchy for the incoming government as, 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 as a knot, you understand, in their wheel of progress. Except, of course, the Supreme Court disagrees with you. How? The Supreme, the Supreme in which Court of the ruled, cases? The, the Ekiti State, for instance. Yes. The Supreme Court ruled and said no. No governor even had the right to, to dissolve a local, an, a democratically elected local government executive. A governor, a governor that, cannot, that's not a done governor, anywhere a according a governor, to the Constitution. A governor cannot dissolve a local government head or structure if the right things have been done. And you should also remember that the power of dissolution is also vested in the House of Assembly of every state. Mm -hmm. And the local government are creation of the House of Assembly. That the Supreme Court has frowned against. Is, now. It, the a Court is it a creation of the Assembly or the creation of the Constitution? Where does the Constitution empower state governors, for example, to dissolve local governments? The Constitution empowers the State Assembly okay. to create, I mean, to, to make, to, laws. To make, make laws, laws for mm -hmm. the local government and to oversee the local government, mm -hmm. you understand? And it places the local government directly under the control of the state assemblies. So if the state assembly see that the administrative guidelines or the guidelines of the local government is not consistent to realities of the day, they have the power through various representatives to come in and through different referenda, I mean, uh, uh, um, referenda mm -hmm. to be submitted and all of that. and open discussion, be, 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 be created for people to put in their input. But let's come back to the issue of the constitutional provisions. Section is, 7, is the, uh, section, section 8, eight. Oh. of the 1999 now, Constitution. States is, that what? Is, is the Constitution vague or mm. clear on the autonomy of local governments? When you have a 2014 confab that says autonomy for local governments should be the norm, and then under military administration, of course, Baba, Baba Ngida was giving the, he was dealing with the uh, local governments directly, giving them funds directly. Yes. And so it, it, it looks like it has to do with the uh, person who is involved here. And the constitution itself is set aside. I'm happy that you have mentioned the military. Yeah. What we have in Nigeria is a military decree. And it's it continues not, it to be. A, it's a military decree. Mm -hmm. It is not a constitution. And I challenge anybody. It's a military decree. Okay. And that is why in 2006, Chief Enauro of Blessed Memories, Professor Wale Shohinka that is still living, Dr. Bekor and Sonkuti, and late Professor Jani Solakonde, and many nationalists in Nigeria mm -hmm. came together under the platform of PRONACO, Pro-National Conference Organization, mm -hmm. where I was mobilization officer. Yeah. We came to create a new constitution for Nigeria. And we wanted to test it understand through a referendum but the government as of, as, as had then refused it general buhari was also part of that process because yes, i did. remember when he came i settled him into his seat now we need a new constitution for nigeria not not an amendment we need to go through a sovereign national conference to achieve what you are talking about but, but as this, long a nigerian constitution has always been inconsistent in many of its provisions is it not the fault of the people who are supposed to interpret the constitution correctly? Whether the you cannot, executive, you cannot, you cannot, legislature, you cannot, you cannot, or even the judiciary, you cannot, who inter aside you the cannot constitution. interpret nullity. Look at the issue that happened in, 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 in uh, uh, what, what they call the state now. Are you referring where the, where to this government, this government does not seem hold, to be in the mood on, to even want the to The government has started a process. The government has started a process headed by the former Senate president. They have started a process. You understand? Mm. Now, look at the issue of, where do you have Kaba now, Kogi State? Yes. The Constitution did not even have a provision for such issues. Okay, okay. And, and how can the Supreme Court now, I now, now you, legislate you just, on such matters? Me, I, 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 don't, I don't understand. All what, right, what let's go Kaba? on a break. Okay, we, we need to go on a break When Aoudou died. Okay. When Aoudou okay. died. When Aoudou yes, died. Yes, oh, yes. The Constitution yeah. had no provision for that. Okay, hold indeed, on. Indeed, indeed, mm -hmm. it did not envisage such a situation. All right, we'll take a break and come back and talk more about this. Stay with us.
All right. Uh, according to the president of local governments in Nigeria, Ibrahim Khalil, local governments are in a perilous state, undersourced and unable to provide the services uh, the people badly need. And of course, uh, you have a president, Buhari, who says there's a need for constitutional uh, amendment needed to clearly define the relationship among the three tiers of government. Uh, now, the question of local government autonomy, that's what we're looking at this morning. And our guest is Ayodele Adewale, former local government chairman himself, Amuo Odofi. Now, what do you have to say about this uh, present uh, joint account uh, between the state and the local government? Is that really at the root of the underdevelopment we have at the municipal level? Well, the joint account for me is no problem. The problem actually are the key drivers of the system in each local government. Mm -hmm. Are they accountable to the resources given? Can they mobilize the resource by blocking leakages for developmental purposes? Mm -hmm. That is what we should look at critically well. Uh, as why you always say some things that uh, the rat will never go to borrow the, the leg of an elephant if he has an itch on his head, which simply means that with whatever resource you have, how can you maximize it to the benefit of everybody within the society? We thank God for whistleblowing and we thank God for the corruption fight now. You can see the stupendous wealth that people are keeping in the corners of their houses and all of that. You can imagine if such wealth are plowed into development. We won't be talking all of these issues. The joint account from certain corners that have been being used, you understand, I've, I've, I've helped to resolve a lot of issues. Gone are the days where you have this some... This joint account, is it not what go many governors are alleged to be well, using to... That is why, that is why, that is why I started with that, with, with that, with, with that, with that um, analogy. Mm -hmm. With that analogy. Now, take for instance, there was a time in Lagos, during the military era, where local government chairmen would get allocation from the federal, and they were not able to pay staff salaries at the local government level. They were not even able to pay pensions and all of that. Why was that? That is why I say accountability. Now, the joint account have helped in Lagos. The first line charge, as agreed by local government, I mean authorities, that the first line charge, primary school teacher salaries be paid, pensions be paid, and all of that. Mm -hmm. That is why you don't have any I, I, I mean, outcry all over Lagos that salaries are not paid at local government levels and all of these things. If you go into history, there was a time in the military administration mm -hmm. that these things were just all over the place. But is that not what we're, a repeat of that, even now with the recession, what you hear, uh, the states not being able, able to, to pay, pay five months, uh, six is, months is, salary. Is, is Lagos state if in put, recession? If, please, just, uh, well, let's, let's put it, let's put this in context. Lagos state in terms of IGR is way, way out there, beyond and above other states. Mm -hmm. But those other states, because they're, they're accountable. In terms of, well, and which, they are block which is fine, but mm -hmm. let's look, and we were, um, we we're just trying to paint the picture of the plight of the people there. If the states are owing up to six, seven months for, to, um, to civil servant, then tell me what the, 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 the primary school teacher out there will be owed. Some, some a year, have not received any salary at all. I'm putting this now in terms of revenue generation. Yes. If we have to decentralize to say, okay, fine, let the local government generate their revenue, how would that work? Which they're already doing. I, I will support decentralization when our system gets to autopilot. Mm -hmm. Autopilot in the sense that each and every elected representative at the local government level is accountable to the people, accountable to the resources they get to the extent that you can see development all around. Yes, I will agree to that. But if we have not got to that stage yet, I beg, it is very dangerous for us to follow that route. What will because it take going for to us have to get to that You are going to stage? have a local government, A, close to local government, B, paying salaries, paying this, paying that. And if local government, B, is unfortunate to have a gluten that is embellishing corruption, and greed, You're talking about they the will not be able to pay. Now, the Elected representative also okay. includes chairman. Yes. You mm -hmm. understand? Yes. Includes the chairman. Yes. You have the supervisors. You also have the councillors. Each and every one of them also have functions that they carry out, that it they looks, oversee, that need resource. It looks like the Kaduna State Governor, Erufa, has uh, created some kind of template that other parts of the country should uh, yes. emulate. Uh, he has, of course, abolished state and local, you know, uh, yes. 
uh, LG yeah. joint account. He has done that. He has yeah. sworn in local government chairman. Yes. And it seems to be working for now, him. Now, listen. Immediately he did that. What happened a few months after? He had to sack all the council treasurers. He sacked all the council uh, hemmed people, council managers, as the case may be, mm. because those were leakages. He quickly saw that. Mm. Now, aside from doing that, he might be tempted, if he goes round again to check, or we call it raking, to check their accounts and see how far they spend the money, he might be tempted to use the executive powers to mm. sack chairman of local government if he's not properly guided yeah. around the rules that he's going to use. But I can assure you that all of them or many of them might not be working in accordance with his vision. So in doing that, like I said, I think there's nothing wrong with that. So if everybody... Except, if except everybody, we get to autopilot, yes, where everybody key into a vision. That's the point. Everybody seems to be on the same page with the president and all those who have been calling for local government autonomy. Yeah. But still, there seems to be something hampering that uh, move. Uh, definitely. All right. Yes, uh, but some states doing? have been running even with our local government uh, chairman until, until well, you recently. Have, That's a big problem. Lagos, big for challenge. example, has LCDAs. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> like I said, like I said, like I said, the life and death of the local government is in the state of the House of Assembly. All right, we'll and have if, to leave it And for there. the Lagos state owned, they were said, trying to... They, they were also trying, not tied to the strings of the executive. Hold, no, no, the, the, no, the, no. The, they are, the, they are the independent. The state House of Assembly can they also are, be tied. They are, that is, according to you, they are independent. They are independent, really. Okay, you are not tied to the strings of the executive. They make their laws. They make their laws. They carry out their functions appropriately, and as it should be. All right, thank you. Lagos state is having its own election come July the 22nd. Yes, it and is. And all of that. And I think what necessitated that long gap was the creation of new laws to oversee the function of local government, in which local government in Lagos now will have to run for four years. All right, you know what? We'll have to leave it there. Thank you so much, Ayodele Adewale, for <laughs> my local government you. chairman, Amuwa Dofi. And I must say, you did do a good job there. Thank you. <laughs> all right. I keep watch on every local government chairman in, La in Nigeria to make sure that their money received are well spent for development. Accountability is Trust the watch word. Always drop a PSA. That's okay, let's does. take it out <laughs> to the streets of Lagos right now. Bimbola Agbebi is standing by to bring us the headlines. Jokeli Jadu, as a matter of fact. Jokeli Jadu, good morning to you. Hello, Joke. Joke, can you hear us? Joke is... Uh, perhaps not ready, but uh, seemed like a marketplace of idea again this morning. Remember okay. Friday, we had the... the, the it was a marketplace, the, really. Yes, uh, with, uh, <laughs> All right, we'll take a short break then and see if uh, Jokeli Jadu can hear us and we'll go back to her. Stay with us.